magic of creativity, of love, of enthusiasm is in the air everywhere. Yeah. But somewhere in our minds is always the sense of distress. Can't escape that these days. It's everywhere. Crumbling around us. In the farthest corners of the world. Finding its way more inward. And that's what happens when varying forms of vermin are allowed to rule the roost. Comes a point in time where there's a need to Get the rats out. The headlines fly by saying different things, but too many mount to meaning red alert. Minds seem to absorb such info, but choose to store it like fat molecules produced by glutenized empty carps. Keep consuming the ship, but look the other way to its after effects. Enjoy the personal thrills minutes bring, but remain naive to how they're piling toward disaster. The problem lies with hopelessness being too dominant. It's amazing how billions can feel as if the matter is out of their hands. And in many ways, the big picture is. But it can be altered. No, no, don't, don't go thinking that way. Don't go thinking that's about grouping together and make a stand. Because masses make scenes. Individuals can infiltrate. If everyone took time to work on themselves, it would create a stronger social tapestry. Don't eat defeat! It only keeps consensus content. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Watts. Um, that's from my book, uh, Everyday Writing, Deconstruction of the Human Hive. And this following piece um, was almost a year ago. It was written Thursday, February 28th, 2013 at 10.06 p.m., completed at 10.24. <laughs> 65 years ago today... I did not exist. And I sure as shit better not be alive 65 years from now. A look back shows how love, glory, and respect were in the air. Together, a great society lived through decades of hardship to reach a point of bright blossom. Those people... Those people... <laughs> For the gold said to be lining our streets. In that sense, they deserved victory's benefits. Family was their fundamental basis, and carrying on tradition was an urge that had to be met. The upshoot of modern conveniences brought forth new foundies. No one realized that their purchases were benefiting the true victors. Back then, mass marketing was as much a cherub as a baby roach. Television was its womb. And every unit obtained led the way for infestation. Now, those still alive from then are mostly burdens to a bankrupt economy. They are looked upon... They're locked into promises to take care of them. But dare anyone expect to see such treatment again? Sixty-five years from now, what will there be? Overseers will be surveilling us with their advanced technologies. 
Employment for these positions is a growing field. Jaded immigrants, vagrants, and dumb fucks are filling them. Those types are perfect for the job because they don't give a damn about anyone who won't tolerate being hassled. They'll also always hate how underpaid they are. That doesn't sound too good for us. <laughs> Respect. Respect. <laughs> Don't expect that from anywhere. You are a nuisance solely because you exist. 65 years from now, don't expect to see much of what's currently before you. That includes what's on any community flagpole. We must get the wreck.